about to have my mouth full. You can't have it full. But I have to. No, you have to carry it. I'm gonna freak out here. There we go, Jesus Christ. Very dramatic. Jack. This is what we're doing. There we go. Can you hear that? Can you hear it okay? I'm gonna I've let... Alright, well, Jack, you will explain what happened last time. Jesus Christ. And also, I've... I don't really hear anything. Is... Am I not supposed to hear anything? It's a soft piano melody that is slightly melancholy to remind you of what type of game we're playing if you were not aware. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, Jack, don't hurt your back from all that carrying. Oh, did we start? <laughs> yes, we're live, Jack. <laughs> Jesus. Feline oh, depressed gotta... and scared. Oh, <laughs> I no. Know, I know I know you've got a bad back, Jack, but come on. He's... What do you mean I have a bad back? <laughs> well, obviously you didn't want to carry the stream, so you must have a bad back. So what explanation. But you're so strong, Caleb. Well, well, here, I thought I could rely on you. Now proven wrong. Oh, this is so sad. So... You don't sound very sad. You sound kind of gay. Ah! Ah! I was told to recapitulate what happened last time. What happened last time was... I'm literally back, and you've absolutely done nothing that I've asked you to do. <laughs> and I'm very confused. Like, I was like, Jack, please recap while I momentarily, you know, leave for like five seconds. I was literally like getting seconds. to that. Yeah, and how long did it take you? The entire time I was gone. Very We cool. didn't even say when you started I straight up said, you go ahead, Jack, no. and please... Caleb, what did, what did you hear? Let's see what Caleb hear. Food. That's what you said. Did I say I was eating food? What did oh I my say, God. Caleb? What happened last time? Yeah, you did ask what happened last time. Yeah, and I was just getting to that, and then you're like, I'm already back. No, Shut the fuck up. You were for like a minute. Yeah, I was Jack. silent for all of like 10 or 15 seconds. Actually, and you're you like, were not, by the way, we it's started. Been t it's been four minutes. And you bullshit. Anything. 100% bullshit. <laughs> you're bullshit, Jack. You don't, but you don't hear me complain. <laughs> wow, that's super rude. Honestly, Jack, you're rude to me every day. And it's that's something that true. I have to deal with. It's just kind of a thing. Hey, Izzy, I have a question for you. Why is my life sad? No, how sad would you be if I banned an in-game action and banned saving? That would be. Uh, they would be screwing. We do. They would be screwing Jack over because then he'd have to redo the whole chapter. <clears throat> Jack, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I don't think. I think. I think there are some things that cannot be asked. Well, it's gonna be asked. It can't be fulfilled. Oh no! If someone is someone asks that kind of shit, ban them. Ban them immediately. <laughs> cancel. <Jesus. laughs> How to cancel Jack in five words? Good fucking luck. I'm always canceled and uncanceled. Canceled and uncanceled. I don't really think that you've been uncanceled, Jack, because nothing you've said has uncanceled you. If I if I have not Actually, been uncanceled, then how do I keep getting canceled? It's just furthering the idea that. Uh, you must be canceled. It's a matter of utmost importance. <laughs> okay, Jack, what happened last time? We made it out of the crazy land. We decided to go home and relax. Instead of relaxing, we decided to be driven mad by various little annoyances and scary features around the house. Oh, we also saved a person from dying and, you know, like, saw this guy's big art museum of death but mainly we went home and we tried to relax and it didn't really work okay so <laughs> interesting review let's load a save huh let's load a save okay so what we're gonna do is we saved at the beginning i think 
Is this the beginning? Oh god, what is this? This is oh, this early, is very, early, early. This, this is yeah. Um, load. I think it's this one. My bad. This, so this is the very beginning. So what we were going to do is redo it so you didn't have to have the... That should happen, right? The stressful stuff. Yeah. So I had it pulled up, and it's now disappeared. Oh, well, I hate to do this. I'm just going to move it. Move it over here. Make life convenient for you, Jack. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay. So what we're going to do is not save. We just saved here at this one. Okay. So we're going to what? Not save because we just loaded up the save. Not save. All right. Calm down. Okay, we're gonna pay the meter. Got it? Okay, apparently he doesn't get it. Oh, but did you turn on the light? What's this? Bills, 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 and more bills. How can I afford to pay these? I wish I'd never got out of that hospital alive. Alright. So, which one are we turning on? You need to turn on the light here. I don't think it's this one, right? Because it'll turn off. I don't think it's this I, one. I don't know what you mean. One of these lights I have to turn on. Here we go. Turn on. Just turn them all on. It's fine. We'll pay. We'll pay for it. <laughs> yeah, because the shadow is here. The shadow yeah. is here. So that's what I had to do. It wasn't the art bedroom. Okay. Okay, you were wrong. Just wanted to make that very clear. Wow. Okay. I would feel bad, except for I'm about to put another Snickers in my mouth. So, whatever. Okay, <laughs> pay the meter. Check the bills before it gets in. Okay. So then we get the burger. Okay, we're going to do that first. Shouldn't go that. Oh my god. <sighs> Imagine trying to look at two different things. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to take a shower is what she wants. You got that one, Jack? Imagine being a person that would pick to take a bath. That'd stress her out, you know? Yeah. Standing by the river, I smile. Will I miss it all? Um... Okay, so after, oops, I did something. After she takes a bath, we need to check the burger label and use the microwave correctly. Well, we don't need to check the burger label, we'll just put it in there for one minute. You remembered? Yeah. Sorry about that. And use. Okay, how long? 60 seconds. All right, we need to get cat stuff, whitener. Matches. Food. I should make a coffee first. 
Bruh. Yeah, we gotta go get the mug. To do, do we? That. What do we use the corkscrew for? Or nothing. It's false advertising. Okay. Or we get a coffee it and a also, fag. It also wants us. It's not clear. It says collect all the stuff before putting it on the balcony. Uh, yeah, you need a can opener, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm talking about the scarecrow. Wait, do you use a corkscrew to open up the can? I am going to save here because we're doing really well. Okay. Jack uh, does Jack. well. Jack gurps. Surprises. Oh, you're such Surprisingly. A but I couldn't put the L Y. <laughs> okay. The L I. L Y. Can you spell Jack? Um, I just thought that you couldn't. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking get the hell out of this room. Take this. Why is Jack so gay? I don't know if closing the vents worked last time. Closing the windows? Or whatever. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't I don't know that it did, but we might as well try. Okay, what's what's in here? The it's in the Another closet. Window. It's in the closet. Open and then it falls. You're gonna close the window in here? I think it went directly into your inventory. It did last time. Check your inventory. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I got you. Okay, don't look at the poem. A shut. Don't look at the paintings. Don't go to bed. Don't use the milk. Okay, yeah. Jesus Christ, everything in this house is designed to kill you. <laughs> okay. Sit down. We did so well last time, honestly. Get the hat. Being the perfectly hat. blind. You did really well. That's why I was shocked that, like, I thought we were really, really close. We could make it, but we didn't make it. <sighs> okay. Okay, gra collect all the stuff, and then now let's make coffee. No, you need to get a mug. Right. Let's get the mug. Don't call anyone. No, don't sit. I'll make you sad. Okay. Take. Man, it goes a lot faster when you know what you're doing. Whoa. Is it switch on? There's no water. Make coffee? Okay. Fill up. Fill up. I don't know. I don't know how coffee is made. There's no water. I guess I'll just turn it on. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know how coffee works. Disgusting. I just know that it's stinky. Um, can I get this now? No, you have to coffee first. I'm my lord. And then do I make it? Okay, do I switch on? All right, you done? All right, make a coffee, Jack. Maybe you should take that corkscrew. I thought you had to get a, a, an opener of some kind. I don't need it right now. Well then. Oh, well then that's fine. Now it's a <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, close the cupboard. Okay. Let me you need just... to go smoking. Yes. I am just making sure. Okay. Okay. So uh, in between streams, I stopped trying to sit. I swear to God. It's this damn bird again. Go away. Shoo. You, you what? What's wrong? You, in between streams, you what? 
I did the achievement for being rude to the guy. We, we can't be rude to him this time. We were oh, going to yeah. do, you know, be reasonable citizens of the of the world. All right, get the hell out of here. Reasonable. That's right. And don't ever come back, you horrible creature. Look at that. This is a uh, perfect. Oh, sorry. I forgot to hit space. I forgot you could do that. Can I fuse? Okay, cool. So, Izzy, I just have a quick question. What's wrong? What I do? Did you turn up the gamma on the game? No. Why? Oh, it just looks brighter than I did last time. No, I haven't done a single thing. Okay. You scared me. I was like, is the stream not working? What happened? <laughs> No, all I did was, I was rude. I told him to go fuck himself. And I got an achievement. We've heard all this, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah. But, okay, what I was gonna say is, even doing it perfectly, like, look how high the bar got. You know? It's fine. Standing by the... Someone he will never. All right, let's play. Yeah, pussy, 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 pussy. I don't think that's the song we're doing today, Jack. It says pussy on the can. <laughs> Maybe that's the brand. <laughs> yeah, pussy brand, pussy feed. Why do you do this, Jack? Don't you want to just be able to summon cats with a song? No. She's like a druid, you know? Oh. I don't really like having outside cats come into my home. I think the ones I'm soaked from the rain. I'm inside, yeah. darling. And who's that? Well, make yourself. Okay, now I get to feed you outside. Did I? Oh, there we go. I thought the game froze for a second. No, I get it. I know. You're a good friend. The best friend I have, really. The only friend in the whole fucking world. You come over to keep me company and want nothing in return. I appreciate it. You should know. If you could know what I've been through lately. I've been to hell and back, my boy. My boy. Here now, in my flat, alive, and it's still the same mess that it's always been. This chapter is going to be a little sticky. Do all this anymore? It'll be difficult. I, I, can. I wish I could be like you. All right. Look! Look! You see that difference there? Perfect. Now, maybe I should have saved. <laughs> oh well. Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry. I... Some of us have. Oh come on! I did. Let... Enough to wait. If this happen... Yeah, I told him this last time. <laughs> All right, you ready, Jack? Mhm. Mm I didn't really. Maybe there are. Is this a okay? But... Damn. Well, at least we we didn't freak out too badly, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, Let's go have so... a relaxing rest. I feel so bad for her. I thought she was going to so throw the mug out. 
on the street. <laughs> like, I thought she was going to do that. Is this the exact same? I can't... I, I thought no, that she had... The same. thought that she had she, cried. She, like, freaked out in the last one, and it was like a fucking heavy metal song playing in the background. <laughs> and then she ended up crawling into bed. Now she actually got into bed. Oh, she was still pissed off, yeah, for sure. And she was able to deal with it. We relaxed enough. It doesn't make you feel as bad. Do you want me to slow down here, or do you want to keep sk skipping ahead? Well, we should see this the same or different. What's up? I'm sorry. I don't know if this is the same or not. Oh, it's this is. Oh, she's a little more positive. But I just mean, like, do you want me to just speed through this? Because I think we reached the beginning. Yeah, there we go. Never mind then. <laughs> Can I help you, Jack? No. Okay. Can't be helped, huh? You didn't That's right. raise your bar the whole way? <laughs> Sounds like a no. This is a very relaxing game to fall asleep to, by the way. Yeah, I feel that. I know you do, that's why I said it. Oh, right, you can skip this. Can't skip. A, tr a truck. Fuck. Izzy offers a skip. Um, Izzy also trolls us. Oh, well, I just meant the dialogue. Because she was speaking about feathers. <clears throat> feathers and pooping. And floating. Well, that's what the pooping is for. That way you feel light enough to float. Thank you, Jack. Izzy, do you remember that pooping makes you lighter? Uh, Jack, don't like that question. Hey, Jack. Did Caleb tell you the other pun that was on this uh, tea place that he likes going to? No. Would you That's like to hear one. it? <laughs> Caleb, would you like to tell Jack? Are you ready for it, Jack? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> The ghosts to do squats to work their booty. That's actually pretty good. That's topical for October. <laughs> Why didn't you lead with that one? Because <laughs> Caleb know. preferred the other one. Did you really? Well, because it took you know. a minute to get that one because it confused me the way they had it written down. <clears throat> Oh. I've slept all night and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Someone's at the door. I really hope it's not him again. Back to four? Yeah, he's at chapter four. Oh, okay. Like what? <laughs> Jack, you got it, right? I don't know why I'm two four. You're what? You're towards the fourth chapter. We're in four now. Whatever. Because in in a number sounds strange. My God, it's Who's my sister. Loser? Ashworth, how are you? Are you feeling better? I'm very busy. busy. Please just leave me alone. Do I know you? Do I know you? Oh, of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. Probably had one too many, mind you.
What are you suggesting, and how dare you? That's what you want to say? I don't know. Why don't you ask <laughs> Caleb? So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. I never had such a feeling. I don't remember you. What you've just said didn't remind me of anything. So Do you when not you got remember to... what Liz told you? No. no. Oh my god. <laughs> Liz is like, wow, you really are my friend. Jack forgets everything after that point. <laughs> well, I remember that. Basically, um, Liz said that somebody found you in your apartment. That the girl, oh. the girl rode with you in the ambulance, and she thought that that was your daughter. And basically, we once they once they arrived at very good, Jack. It's called mystery. Once they arrived at the hospital, they were like peace <laughs> because you know she has no. They were just assuming she was uh, related to you, and she just skipped out. Oh, okay. So it's you. Jack went from <laughs> hostile to, oh, okay, I remember now. <laughs> this episode na named Jack doesn't remember anything. Fucked up everything. important it's important that's why i came here the other night to talk to you actually you know speaking of gamma it, it is a little quiet let me turn it up just a tad speaking, speaking of gamma, of gamma. About that's not even related well you, you have know, learned from caleb so well i know i'm so proud i literally have been doing that for a long time so you can literally go in your okay bed. but caleb did it first he really did not why would you want to talk to me makes no sense why would you want to talk to me it makes no sense i saw the ad you put in the paper it seems you have a room to rent i they still print that it was months ago nobody ever called i forgot all about it i gave up on it actually well i'd like to be your lodger miss ashworth but you've got the room and i've got the money won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise, and I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. Sorry, but I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great. Can I come in? make you feel happy jack what do you uh, i guess do you, do you, you said help? you were my daughter you want to help jack here kill him before he has a problem uh, what what kill hasn't said anything so i'm just inviting him to in speak my, <clears throat> in my mind i think you should find out more about her just like you know you said you're my daughter kind of because you're assumedly going to be living with her so just get more information about her so, like you said, you're my daughter, or how did you get in? That sort of thing. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? <laughs> what? Excuse, Excuse me? You're a little liar. She's a dirty bird. <laughs> That's like that fucking pro Z meme. Like, Hello, fucker. I'm gonna murder your whole family. Oh my <laughs> god, just went away. Well, I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. Wow, you're very rude, you guys. And I wanted to see if you'd make what? it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How'd you get in last night? 
you fuck. I never want you in here ever again. That's what she's going to say. How did you uh, uh, that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Okay, what she goes going to uh, be. Okay, I'll tell you. I picked the lock. I'm part of the Thieves Guild. I picked the lock. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. This does so not in any way absolve you of what you just did. I'm very expensive. That's my what? It's now the only thing that reminds me of it. Are you the lockpicking lawyer? Then get out! I see. <laughs> but you know, it does. So I see a lock, so I just remind myself of my father. <laughs> Stop. It's not important anymore. That was not a good explanation at all. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door go. and just barge yeah. in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. Okay, so there were exigent circumstances. Incredible. Like ghosts howling. And for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Ew. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch? Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? Well, I died in that hospital, if you must know. <laughs> uh, are you sure you want to say that, Jack? This is the most normal thing I could think of. <laughs> Yeah. I agree, actually. The despair, because I feel like you're going through some of the information. I'm, I'm a little nervous about the way she's going to say it, but I think we're this far into it, so we might as well try. Well, I died in that hospital, if you must know. Oh. But not for long enough. It seems I must have been too attached to this shitty life I lead, and must suffer some more before I can rest. Jesus Christ. Why all this negativity? Called what depression, lady. You think this way? Clearly, the only thing you suffer is some nasty depression. Not that it's any of my business. But if you tried talking about it to a doctor. Yes. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I no. Not at first, but yeah, <laughs> it did. Alright, and then obviously that that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who talks to rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel then? Why would you hotels more than train stations with homeless weirdos and rats? Robbie, oh no, he's cool, he's all right, and he kept the rats away, dude. She's so fucked her. up. <laughs> What's up, yeah? Money's no object, by the way. I want to live in your shithole. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand this girl like at all. It's so fucked up. By the way, I'll probably only be here for a couple months or a couple weeks. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Woo. I think we need to choose. Why do you want this room so much? Because that's the only option. I was letting you both speak. Why do you want this room so much? We had to carry it earlier, Izzy. You gotta that's carry it now. Awesome. This flat's you mean that's a good point. It's cold. It's dark. <laughs> it's I tried. Moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People? Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? 
shower. I'm yeah, well, sure why don't you take a shower? Mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm she looks sure like she's wearing like the fucking Furiosa war paint in her the eyes. The window is stuck, <laughs> and it doesn't shut properly. It's all right. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Was it incense? I give up. I think so. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Jesus Christ, you're such a bitch. <laughs> she tries to push people away, she's like, go away. Oh man, I am, I'm almost out of money. Hi, I would like to pay you money! <laughs> oh no, you don't want to be here! <laughs> <laughs> She's still following you. Should you go any further though? I guess because this is your room. Oh, nope, she does follow you. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Just like, what are you doing? I turn on the light. Well, let's examine. Oh. Yeah, we did that before. I think you're lying, Jack, because you can't remember what happened last time, but you could remember what you were. I told you exactly what happened last time. You did not. This room is perfect. Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch, too. Got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Uh. Are you part of that emo subculture? Holy <laughs> shit, yeah. That's the most important thing we could find out right now. And Jack, when he sees a depressed person, <laughs> that's what he thinks. Yeah, are, are you, you just. Jack are, you... <laughs> are you. Emo? <laughs> are you emo? Are you just really fucking depressed? <laughs> No, that's what he thinks of people. He doesn't think they have depression. He just thinks oh, yeah, they're Or goths. Which one do you want to ask? Are you emo? Are you being serious right now? Yeah. Are you a part of that emo subculture? <laughs> Please don't say that word ever again. No, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that no crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay. Clearly a sensitive subject. <laughs> you know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're more for emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black, too. Of course. That's because black is the best color. Period. Marzalai. Oh, no. Sounds pretty emo. That's racist, Jack. You mentioned some personal reasons. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking Shit's for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... Friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so I don't know what he looks like. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. She's a little weird. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, and I must just... Figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. He said something... really bad. Something horrible. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know? Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. 
At least it makes more sense why she's in this shithole. Well, you're not in any kind of trouble, are you? You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? Scar by the mm. face, an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate Dang, that's, you've just described. That's almost like <laughs> you. Peg leg and we've got a full picture. Oh my god. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. Okay, how about some references, bruh? Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so... Not really. I've lived with my mum all my life. Until recently, that is. I could give her a call. She's just died. That would be a perfect spot for my post out there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that'd be okay. <laughs> she gets distracted yeah. a little too easily. You've been asking me all these questions, and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I, mean, <laughs> I tried to kill myself. How do you terrible think? Experience. <laughs> you barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this, but I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? you feel? I didn't tell her the same thing she told us. Yeah, long story, bruh. Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha. Right back at me, I guess. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Oh shit. Just oh. Some details. Anyway, I suppose your what? story is the kind that can't be short. Here we go. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometime. I think I hit the five button on accident. Oh bad. Uh -oh. I fixed it like her name. to the living room. Room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? What happened? Are, are you alright? Go away! You have to go away right now! But... why? Ashworth, what's wrong? Oh my god, you're not safe here. You should leave. Why is she not safe, Jack? I don't fucking know. You don't know? No, yeah, I don't know why the demon death thing is up behind her. But you don't know why it's not safe? No, not really. Well, do you normally think that you feel safe when it goes goes up behind somebody? Yeah, because ghosts can't do anything. Oh my fucking god, Jack. You ghosts would die. Poop. You're the first That's one what? to die in a movie. Whenever you smell a fart but you don't know who did it, it was the ghost. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not safe. Well, everything else is hostile. No. Yeah. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have the uh... I have... I... Well, we have to be hostile to her. Well, stay away. I would say the other one. I knew you were one of them. I knew it. Because that'll probably that might give you more options for her to be like, what do you mean one of them? And then you can kind of talk about a little. Oh, uh, I say just stay away because it seems like we're not necessarily talking to her. We're talking to the the ghost uh, rather than being there's accusatory. There's no way. He, there's no way she would know that. Yeah, that's true. Your subject, Jack. He's one playing. I'm playing too, Cal. Well, yeah, is, you're choice. breaking the tie here. Oh, well, I know the answer. I just know that you're bad. Okay, break the well, tie. What's the answer? Yeah, pick the answer, Izzy, because we have to retire on this on. 
Nope. We have well, to... then we're going to sit here forever. No. We have... <laughs> Jag, you always pick the wrong answer. Jesus. You do. You You're just so bad. What are you talking about? You're a little casual boy. Try to relax. Thank you. Everything You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> but why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm oh, down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, all right? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble. Jack, she swears. Okay? Just take a deep breath. Disgusting. Explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, no. 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 You're going to die. Yeah, I mean, we have to pick that one now. We're going, we're on that... That pathway. You're How did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind reading abilities? I've got a creepy old lady who's not death that tells me. So fucking obvious. <laughs> Jack forgot who the Queen of Parasites I, means. What she does. I don't know how you're going to die, but call it a hunch if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly where I'd have started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here She's got great scale. Take a good look, because I'm not <laughs> going to do it again. Oh, oh cancer. cancer. Down, Chris. Oh, my God. I took a screenshot. I'll send it to Chris and be like, where are you? <laughs> 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 Jack, what did you do this this time? <laughs> I just sent it to him. It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. Did, did I miss a few steps here? What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream. Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? Jack, what happened? Uh, I don't have any idea. You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. Jack, go yeah. for the badass action movie lines. I'm going for, <laughs> that was the one I was like, aiming towards, too. <laughs> What's going on, Caleb? What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? What I happened? I, I clicked away for three seconds to send Chris funny meme, and now she's tied up with a fucking gas mask, man. Am I missing anything? Did I miss a like, flash of something? What are happened? They, I don't know, Jack. Did he miss something? No. <laughs> Jack, right, fine, a, you're not going for the bit today, huh, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going with this option. I'm going with the last option. You're a dead man because we've killed once. We can do it again. <laughs> You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. I'll cut your throat open and watch you bleed to death. I'll feed your body to the crows. Oh, you're going to regret this, pal. What's going on in there? What? this did 
do you play with this little bitch behind my back? Because if you did, I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. I was just saying that she, she's here for dinner. Good dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. You nasty little whore. Trying to seduce my husband in my own home. How bloody rude. Jack, why are you being rude? <laughs> I don't understand. Gotta be what? I wasn't even trying anything. <laughs> what? I wasn't trying anything. Shut up, you stupid bitch. I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. Oh, this is about to get you won't awful. Need these eyes and this face How do you know? Longer anyway. She's going to acid attack us. Ooh. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. That's pretty fucking brutal. Do you enjoy that? Jeez, dude. Are you playing as the cat now? <laughs> I think you are. What do you mean, Jack? If yours, you're playing as a cat. I have redeemed I think you're, now, Izzy. I think you're falling asleep here, Jack. I'm, I'm Susan. <laughs> you forget? Nope. Izzy, someone in the chat has redeemed Mao. Where do you want to go, Jack? Maybe we go up the stairs. Oh, fuck. Chris says, is it kitty time? Chris, you missed it. You missed the bald lady. Don't eat that. <laughs> oh my god. Hole. Do you know who you are, Jack? Yeah, we're, uh, Podrick. No, what's his name? Podrick. Gorgeous. Teacup. Teacup. Jack is moments bleach. away from sleeping. Again. I'll go say Mr. Midnight. Oh, no. What a shame. It could have been a start of something very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to have to go make all all day all now. She does that every single time. Oh, my God. Time. What do they call it? Trust issues. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> you sound like you're on the verge of yawning. 
I'm not Fuck, Izzy, you. you're gonna make me yawn. Are you standards. gonna yawn now? Ain't gonna touch a bird like you. I got a <sighs> girl. <laughs> you look like shit. You look like shit. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. What? Uh, did he? Is this the voice of somebody in Autodale, Caleb? And you're, you're in pain, what? So you said I'm gonna go make Autodale. I've, I've brought something. The, he's got the same accent as the guy suffering. who made Autodale. Oh, okay. It's an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favorites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Okay, oh, calm down, Alec Baldwin. Jesus, Jack, too pain. soon. God. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's just, it's just an idea, you know. No pressure. No pressure, Jack. Ah, uh, of course. You can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. 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 Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> By you? So I'll just leave it for you here. <laughs> That's right. Feel free to use it. Didn't even that, what, that didn't warrant a laugh. Anyway. So now we have to get our cat to. What's the cat's us. name? We won't want to get caught. Teacup. Handed again, would we? <laughs> <laughs> you naughty minx. Oh Jack. yeah, you're a dirty girl, you naughty minx. <laughs> 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 I can't reach it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. What would you call this accent, Jack? Uh, super dumb England. You like the happy kitty music, Izzy? Kitty picks up one of the rifles and starts going to town. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Chris says super dumb England, also known as Cockney. And Jack has cancelled again for the umpteenth time. He's got a fucking musket. Why is it sad music? I don't like it. What's wrong? I think you're going to get caught. Run. Oh, okay. Well, that was a really weird puzzle, because, I mean... Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't know. That's like... Hey, I'm back. Alright, puke into my mouth, please. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't... I can't see a thing. That bitch... That's gotta Let's suck see. so much. Who are you? Say something. Yeah. Anything. I, I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Gun. gun. Examine. That idiot left his gun. Tick. No! No, no, no! I dropped it. It weighs Where like five pounds. It? it can't have gone very far. <laughs> oh, my glasses! I can't see without my glasses! I've got it. Man, she really freaked out over nothing there, huh? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you no gotta way. return by death. That can't possibly work. What do you mean? Jack, remember to what happens every time you go back, then the sound. Okay. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. Is that really the only option? Yep. You couldn't like try to walk any further out or Oh anything? well Jack told me to shoot myself, so <laughs> You died. 
Yeah, I thought that's what the objective is, to turn by death. I thought you could, like, confront the guy or something, but, you know, don't try all of your options before you do anything. Oh. Oh. Wait, are we, like, straight up? Oh, here we go. Ah! <laughs> you don't mind who your ghost is? It's your room. You can do what you like with it. But I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Did you make these? No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. So, Miss Ashworth. I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, yes. Of course. So, shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get him away. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? It might. It might what? It might hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Great. You like free I'll drinks? Bring the wine. Hell yeah. I just bought a bottle of wine the other day. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Oh my god. In the kitchen. What? I'll go get it. She, she usually yeah, drinks screw top wine. You there, could you get a couple of glasses too? What's wrong with that? Very low quality wine. I didn't know that, sorry. I mean, if you don't really like wine, there's nothing wrong with getting like boxed wine which is super super cheap uh screw top wine is fine i but I, part of the fun for me is being able to <laughs> screw it i remember seeing an adam ruins everything where like they took a bunch of wine connoisseurs and gave them blind wine testing and they honestly could not tell the difference between like box wine and like super expensive like you know a couple hundred dollar bottle wine yeah I read some stuff about how sommeliers are really just, they're not, they're not that bad as what I've read. Um, but you know, they're, they're a little bit better than chance. What Certainly, do you mean by they're you, not that bad? Like, you mean they're, they're not, not as bad as not being able to tell at all, but just oh. that, you know, like if they couldn't tell at all, they would be, they would get it they, they would just be as good as chance. But I, I read that they were a bit better than chance. But, you know, you don't pay somebody like $100,000 a year to test wine and come up with wine pairings and shit for you uh, if they're just slightly better than a, a coin flip, you know? Or maybe mm -hmm. you do, and that's what people are idiot. People are just idiots. People pay, rich people pay for a lot of shit. <laughs> to be honest, uh, you know, the other day Chris was like, I can't tell the difference between red and white wine. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I can't, uh, uh, Jack, I can't tell the difference either. Okay, but you haven't, you just don't drink. But it's... Well, I've never had it, but that doesn't change uh, yeah. my statement. Okay. <laughs> don't be jealous I, of me, Jack, because I'm I don't right. Think, I think it's pretty difficult to say like, oh my god, I like this wine over this wine over this wine. I think you should and be And when you're in the range of like... Six dollar bottles of wine to to I don't know twenty five dollar bottles of wine. They probably all do taste reasonably comparable. But when you start paying fifty or sixty bottle sixty fifty or sixty dollars per bottle, I have noticed some amount of a difference. It's not like holy fucking shit. I I'm gonna go pay sixty bucks for this wine on a regular basis or anything. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't taste like the five dollar Walmart wine. She reminds me of myself when I was younger. Chris says, I'm a fan of the Walmart brand toilet wine. They taste like shitty grape juice. I've had fancy uh, ones too, they ain't shit. I mean, honestly the Walmart brand wine or whatever it is, um, back in Arkansas it was three dollars per bottle. Would you now, drink, that is uh, would you drink wine at like a, a wedding, even if it tasted weird? I wouldn't ever drink wine if it tasted weird 
Well, how, well, you wouldn't know until you tasted it. Yeah, I'll give it a taste and be like, and that's then, weird, and not drink anymore. Even if they do a toast? Yeah. You, you can toast with... You can toast... Look, you can toast with wine by not drinking it. You just raise your glass. Or you can toast with the water that you've got. You don't get water. <laughs> yeah, you get water. No, you don't get water. Everyone else gets water. You don't get water. <laughs> well, then I'm certainly not going to be drinking wine if I don't have anything else to drink. <laughs> But the I was saying like the three dollar Walmart wine, it's not good wine, but for three fucking dollars, it's a hell of a value. Thank you, Jack. No wine, only mimosas. Oh my god, mimosas are great. Wow. I'm not sure if I can fully trust her, but so far she seems genuine. <laughs> Maybe I'll give her a chance. Jack finally no. woke up. Chris, so that reminds Ooh, me that some reminds restaurants. Some restaurants here do apple cider mimosas. <laughs> Ew. That sounds That's gross. Right, apple cider mimosas. Oh, I was just reading what Chris said. I like apple cider, actually. That's good. I do too. I remember randomly, like in college, I had like a bottle of apple cider, and I don't know why. I don't know. I can't remember who gave it to me. It wasn't like anything special. It was just like the fucking store bought brand, but like, I just had it, and I don't know why. Hmm. I should make a coffee first. Jesus make, Christ again, woman! I should make a coffee first. Jack, can you do the fancy accent? That's not fancy. I don't know what you mean. The Michael Caine accent. But, like, the Chris version. <laughs> What's the Chris version of Michael Caine? He said, Super Dumb England is also known as Cockney. But I don't know how to do a Cockney accent. You were doing it just fine when you were mocking that guy earlier. No. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I went too far. Yeah, but you're easy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> As he stops the stream, bans you from life. <laughs> Honestly, I was tempted. I was tempted to end the stream right now, right there. All right. Chris says, "Oh, Joey, Jack, you're being a git." <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the thing. Just like the ordinary corkscrew. I like to imagine that like this game's so punishing if you say "use" that you like fucking stab her with it. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably just give it to Mitzi rather than using it on her. <laughs> Let's get that bottle open. Jack, <laughs> just try to practice, okay? Glasses. Try to practice, or you can't. <laughs> oh my god, I have to get glasses too? Jesus, why can't you follow me in the kitchen? That's my right, glasses. Izzy, I just I mentioned to you. <laughs> exactly. I'm I told not. you that you can't see without your glasses. What'd you say, Caleb? Wait, go back. Chris says that was Australian, Caleb, but very nice. No, what do you say about me? What do you want, Jack? No, I said, never I just mind. told you, and I was like, my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. <sighs> oh. Shut you the think fuck that Velma up. would? You know, you think that there Velma are no glasses here. Contact. There's no things. You can go find yeah, no, them. Go find you know them. Where they might be? They might be on like the balcony. They might be, they be in the your cupboard, butt. cabinet. Take wine oh. glasses. Bam, there you go. I told you to go back. Oh, God damn. I've drank since Eric. Who's Eric? Oh my. F What's One a for computer? Me. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I shit and he dropped it. Shut up, Caleb. <laughs> Can you stop being gay and pay attention? I don't even, you don't have your camera on and I know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, probably because Jack is gay. One for me, one for Hamitsi. Hamitsi? Yeah. I don't think you know how to say her name. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? You are it's literally like asleep, show. Jack. You're straight up like not. What are you laughing right about? Now. You didn't hear my joke? <laughs> no! Are you serious, Jack? You're actually falling asleep. Like, no, I'm pretty sure a, you're not I conscious right now. I put the thing right down. Now. I put it away. <laughs> you're not conscious right now. Like, you're not, you're not okay. here with us. What did you say, Caleb? I said if she's Jewish, she could have a bar mitzi. 
<laughs> that was my god. That sounded like a quack. Like that's where it's yeah, like a goose. <laughs> yeah, those weird looking goose. Goose's You're a weird looking butt. Moose and geese, Jack. Multi multiplicities of goose is geese. <laughs> my gosh. Jack is really, really tired, and I, he doesn't know how to do anything right now. Can I point something out, Izzy? Wow, why are you so mean to me, Izzy? Because I'm accurate and true. <laughs> All right, I, I want to do an experiment with you, Izzy, really quick. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, once Jack reads this, we'll be ready. They're pleading. Pl pl <laughs> 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 Gil, break down that time for Jack, because I think he needs some help right now. Oh he, my god. He's too tired to write it down. They're draw, still pretty clean it. after all these years. <laughs> One second, okay. <laughs> Fuck. What? What, Caleb? So, uh, Izzy, I want you to close your eyes for one second. Alright, ready? Okay. Twilight Town. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the music! The fucking music! Come on! Yeah. It sounds it's good. It's so accurate. It's so accurate, isn't it? I thought you were gonna do something awful to me. What? I didn't believe you. I'm, I was like, longer than the I'm in the other I room. You. Yeah, I thought you were gonna rush over here and do something. What's Twilight Town? But don't worry about it, Jack. You're literally asleep right now. All right, we'll turn this stream. We'll turn this stream. If into you Kingdom played Hearts Kingdom War. Hearts for like five <laughs> seconds of your actual life, you would know. Yeah, but I've played it for zero seconds of my actual life. Well, then life, there, so you, there go. you go. Well, then what's your there life you worth? Yeah, come on. Come on, everyone knows. Jeez. It's the town where Roxas is from. You won't understand what that means, so there you go. I know who well, Roxas he's actually, is. He's no, not actually from, from that town because he's a nobody. Yeah, I do. He's the six foot two person that wears all black. <laughs> I like how he's completely it. wrong. I mean, I mean, Sora's like canonically tried. three feet. Stop! Would you Wait, how is this not? Stop. How is that not Roxas? Stop. Don't worry about it, Jack. We, Who did I name? You named Axel. Or maybe Axolotl. Axel or Riku. Riku no, like it's inexplicably Axel. grows taller and taller. Okay. Would you fucking? <laughs> I'm playing this game. We'll play Kingdom Hearts <laughs> later. <laughs> I really must say this before we start. Yeah? I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Wow! Oh my god, that's so funny. I, funny, Mitzi. I was thinking about that, now I think about it. That's fine. The rain's now making me sleepy. sleepy. Me. Good thing I'm not Jack, and I can actually function. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jack, what? pay attention. Oh my god, just push her over the edge. Why are you what such fuck, an Jack? asshole? She's like the nicest character so I know. far. And Jack like Jack pushed her over the edge. I like how he's like, uh, she's so mean. She's pushing her away. And then Jack literally wants to push her off the balcony with no regrets. That's, this is normal. This Sometimes is a normal interaction. Away. I just want you to hold me close to you. <laughs> I don't think she's going to get from there because she's already over here, Jack. She's not going to oh. get over there. Is he, did you notice message. it's not even raining anymore? Oh my god. Oh, it's not raining god, it's supposed to rain for three days here. I, don't mind I love awesome. the rain. I miss it. Come here. I love Tennessee rain. has even more rain than Arkansas. Sod. Never mind. Yeah, you don't have anything. I had something, but you, you knew what it was. I did. Oh, no. I had something, but I'm just not going to tell you. I just decided not to say it because it's this yeah. is a very serious moment. I mean, you don't have to believe me. I know I'm right. Okay. You did not pay attention, see? That's why I didn't say it. Maybe you're right. I'll believe in them when I see one. Also, Izzy, Chris has an important message. What is it? He says Kingdom Hearts. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He just, like, stopped. I am so glad I'm not spending another night outside. I might be a big girl now, but... 
there will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. Did you know they actually have a name for it? It's called homophobia. Fear of fog. We are living in crazy... Fear of fog? Yeah. Are you not paying attention? Dude, it's so foggy here every morning. <laughs> Wonderful, Jack. Do you hate fog? Are you afraid of fog? I'm fine with fog. It's Are just... you afraid of mist? No, that's just a myth. I uh, myth. I don't really like driving in fog. Hmm. So how are you planning to find this guy if it's so foggy? How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us for seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. Dude, you probably that was me. By now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That's killed. Well... There's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Anyone else you know? Sort of. I mean, like... Think? You know... Maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of a building, and with your help... Didn't she say that she would leave her alone and not be in her way? to me, Mitzi. Yeah, but we agreed to come out and talk to her. I know she's including you in her plan. Well, yeah, but I mean, it... Come on, it's good for Susan. Susan. Yes, oh my. the main character. <laughs> I'm Jack, about to I can't end tell the stream. If you're I'm about to not. just end it. I'm that about was, to end it all. It was just a joke. I, sh I legitimately <laughs> am my mouse over end stream. Like, I did that. And then I was like, <laughs> I don't believe I, you. You don't have to believe me. It's the fucking truth. You're going to fucking have it end the second you do it. And then it's just going to be done. <laughs> okay. So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Jack is a big well, gay. Well, to be honest, I didn't really Cunt. want to tell you about tonight. I said gay! I oh, she's head. talking about cancer. I know. Oh my fucking oh, god, god, Jack! <laughs> Are you a, like... Oh my god. I thought he was like, oh yeah, we're in the big city, let's talk about it. <laughs> You are not here with it's us fun. right now. You seem all right. What? You're it's canonically fun. asleep. <laughs> you're just canonically <laughs> weird. You're canonically gay, and I'm not weird. I'm very normal. Okay. You're just jealous of how cool I am. Okay. It's okay. You, you can be jealous. Breasticle cancer. You can't help yourself. You know? Breasticle. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, lymphoma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. It kills Chris. people. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah. And yet, she gets to be the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. How long? Chris. They said I had a year. Oh. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Oh. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. She still has her scarecrow yeah. up. You want to talk about something else? So Chris says Jack is just mad he doesn't have titties of his own, and that's not true, Chris. I've got those Angelina Jolie titties. 
What does that mean? Are you sure? Angelina Jolie? Is it a genetically higher risk of having breast cancer? So she decided that she wanted to lop off her breasts. Oh, really? Yeah, I assume that so the way she looks like she's still... Now you don't have them. No, I've got Angelina Jolie you you, 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 No, but she did I have she, them. She didn't have them. She, didn't, she had them and now you she doesn't. You stole them? So that you would have had them. Yeah, you stole them. No, that's true. Oh, yeah, I just <laughs> took her titties, yeah. <laughs> Jack saw Angelina Jolie's chip breasts. I don't know. But you know, I like, text? I see pictures of her for and Eternals because she's in that movie. Wasn't really that and impressive, honestly. It seems like she has, like, she must be wearing something that reproduces her tits. I it's bet that's the case because it's a Marvel movie and they have more money than God. No, no, no. I mean, like, she does it in real life. Just, I, I she did that on the, on the, on the, uh, the red carpet and stuff for the movie as well. Right, she just told everyone that she didn't. She got the operation. Uh, It's a hell of a, it's a hell of an attention-seeking thing when you name your children Shiloh and Maddox. How are you doing, You're Chris? You're like, that's not enough. I also have to chop off my chest. You need to stop, Jack. I hope you're feeling better, Chris. By the way. What? You know, because uh, Jack didn't ask you, so just hoping you're doing better than <laughs> Mitzi and Jack. Because Jack is asleep, and uh, she has. Whatever I've already forgot the big gly whatever she said like yeah whatever that is what not it's that. not glaucoma whatever whatever she, fancy oh thing she oh said. Jack so you're gonna be a stickler for us remembering things now are you yeah glaucoma is when you go blind in your eyes you're blind in your butt also Chris says Jack stole the cancer titties oh my god they didn't have cancer yet she was just at higher risk. So these so these safe. are cancer-free titties. You would not have to put a notice on them if you took them in California. What do you think they did with them? I, I mean, she's pretty environmentally conscious. Maybe she composted them. These are my titty trees. <laughs> are you ready, Jack? Oh, well, you mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. Name's Jack. He's dead. No! <laughs> okay, good. Hey, Jack, you're canonically dead. That's I bullshit. I'm sure you want to listen about my miserable life. I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. I guess so. You're just like Izzy. Anyway, I suppose I what? won't have How? to about Jack sooner or later. You don't like happy stories. I love how he happy stories. You look you like strife. I don't know where to start. What? What are you on, Jack? I mean other than being asleep. Oh my god. Tell, tell me, me how you two met. Tell me how you two met. How did you meet Jack? We knew each other for like forever. Grew up on the same forever, street. ever, forever. It's funny how we <laughs> for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. Mm. Oh, there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life. It's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. Okay, Nagito, calm down. <laughs> how about that cancer dough? How did he take the news about your cancer? thought I was joking at first. He laughed. Then he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. What? <laughs> Your first and only fight? About whether or not he believes you have cancer. He loved that guitar. 
break it. He only played it for you. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place when nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack. It was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about. Even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. So, he made art. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films. But I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, honestly, there's a certain indescribable... No, it's just a brain cancer. Sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. You must love my apartment, then. It's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. Okay. So how'd he die? How did he die? How did Jack die? He was so distant the last few weeks before... before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know, about all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions, everything really. Accidentally, websites about horses. On about suicide. There's a guy there, calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took and you faith. keep him on that forum. Before he knew he was completely brainwashed. He's she's saying that this is what he was doing. Yeah, but you're on a forum where this supposed to be a supportive community. There's a person that's doing the total opposite of that, and he's still on that forum. I guess so. Huh? There's no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals. Which combined together create a gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course. But he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Tacky? Finally, Said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could 
see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. But right there in my bedroom, before I even left, I already knew it was. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. Yeah, why would you? What do you mean? It was special to us. There's no us. Okay, I guess I'll go to this random parking lot. <laughs> That's where she said to meet him, remember? Yeah. This is the thing you're playing. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Also, Bub says, return says, hello, I'm back. Your persona is still cute, Izzy. And then Chris says, so I just got an email from someone named Twinkle. What the hell? Also, thank I you. I had, I'm sorry, you guys. I had no idea it was telling me to move. It's okay. Inflammable gas inside. Interesting. H2S is pretty fucking nasty. Like, the, she's not kidding. Like, if you can smell it, you're pretty much dead. Damn. Why? Um, it is an odorless gas, and the smell is it actually burning your nose. Oh, shit. So, uh... Why were there signs in the car windows? You thought that far ahead? There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. Well, that's good. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear minds. Did you notice the fog got worse? To embrace it. It's just, yeah, it's been getting worse the whole time. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close. I can almost smell that fucker. Gross. Chris said I would think it was a joke email, but it was from a recruiter on a job site. What? What do they so... want? The twinkle. Probably to hire somebody. I had a an English class my freshman year of high school and the teacher's assistant fellow uh, his name was Mr. Sprinkle mm -hmm. people made fun of him for that a whole lot but eventually he <laughs> he came in with like a you know one of those like birthday hats little cones striped cones on his head <laughs> yeah. And uh, he'd had enough of being uh, raked for being called Mr. Sprinkle, so he put up like uh, transparency, and we just had like a good time. But on the transparency, it was Mr. Sprinkle's pity party. <laughs> um, Bubs is redeemed. Mao. Mao. And Chris says it was bizarre. Hope they don't try to call it because they'll be giggling all the way through the call. What do you want to ask, Jack? Uh, how strong is that gas? But, I mean, Kilbert told us. How strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. Kiln is all about gas. Stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentration. Yeah, you said sulfur. An elephant. I'm so sorry. I think... Now I Jack didn't want to say sorry, but um, the game forced us. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, Jack. I'm not surprised you want to find him. You know it is. You gotta do it for the bit, Jack. Come on. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. 
But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is, he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of what? psychological cruelty. Just in case you don't know, Jack, don't be a butt. Don't talk to them. Also, Susan's technically older, so she might not know. Yeah. Yeah. So stop being a poop. I missed the part where she explained why she's afraid of fog. Because you were canonically asleep? She got lost in it when she was a kid. Oh. Trolls are always hungry, and I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. What are those two chemical products? Well... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Archworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some <laughs> extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it. You proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? I mean, that's fairly responsible. <laughs> Suicidal yeah. person asks you, what is this gas that kills you in minutes? <laughs> and you're like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't tell you this one. <laughs> Got any sass to pull, Jack? Let's tell her that I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. Maybe if you can enunciate the words properly. Jack's just falling asleep. He's canonically falling asleep. That's true. Uh, but that says, oh, sounds like an actual cat with your mouth. I used to mew all the time. Oh, hey, guess what, Bubs? We also have one for a mouse. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. I was like, wait, what? I didn't do a mouse sound. <laughs> Come on, Jack, what's wrong? Jack, how do you feel? Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is a depressing game, and Jack is, we're laughing about mouth sounds. Okay, don't try to kill yourself. I can promise you that I will never try this method, or any other method for that matter. Been there, done that. Didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? No. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. All right, pay attention, Jack. Any good housewife can make Oh! <laughs> wow. That was what we got, huh? Well, she's better. How do we come back? What do you well, mean? Well, because you're snapping back and forth. It's, it's the whole flashback thing, Jack. Huh? No, but last time, been... last time we had to kill a person to come back. N no. They're just streamlining it for us now. We have to be really careful here. What's a cat grabber? It's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. Take it. Take that shit. We need to be what really was that careful. other door? What was the other door? 
door. Examine! Okay, let's not go in there. I'm just gonna put together how this happened. Is this guy the eye of Adam, or what the fuck? Go up the stairs! Are you sure you don't want to try Go up push? the stairs! Jack, you might have to do it. I, I, think, I think Izzy's trying to help you, Jack. <laughs> Go back down the stairs! I, I tried. I like how Izzy's trying to subtly help you and Jack. Oh, well, Jack like, doesn't under doesn't head. like subtlety. I resist the help. He hates when subtlety. When I feel that she's helping me, I feel like, oh man, I was supposed to do this. <laughs> like, are you sure? And that's like the DM. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, so he's just sleeping. What the fuck noise? Sorry, I'm gonna put some marshmallows in my mouth. It's an empty bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look at everything. <laughs> Collecting guns will be your passion. His little well, you passion. Can reach what? I said his little passion. Uh -huh. But they're all right next to him, he'd wake up for sure. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs? I have no chance to fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. He's, the sharp, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> 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 they don't duck coming and they don't duck coming. <laughs> Jesus. I have to use my words to get rid of him. I don't know if Jack has them canonically right now as he is asleep. I'm at my wits end with you, Izzy. Yeah, your butt's in with you, Jack. Must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns. While ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, wait. I think it actually tells... Yeah, there you go. Don't go close, he might wake up. Okay. Okay, so... I can't wake up. What else are we missing here? Can you go... I don't Where's the... Hmm. Okay. Can't do anything in here. Bubsy says, wake him, also redeems Mao. Actually, I'm going to save right here. Jack stares up. Okay. Now where, Jack? Wherever. Let's see what, what's doable on this Which floor. Which direction? I don't know. You're literally the worst. Oh, let's go to the kitchen. The lamp's on. I can't see a switch for it anywhere. This old grandfather clock looks like it's still working. Well, yeah, gravity didn't stop, so it's still good. God, I have this one screaming. I'm not, fucking, I'm not fucking going out there. Okay. <laughs> you gonna go through kitchen. the kitchen? No. Yeah. Wherever there might be household chemicals. Bottles. Bottles. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. I'm gonna go ball a row with your medium rare cat steak. No, what? I the kitty. Why are you eating a cat Jack, steak? Jack, you're eating cats. You're you eating cats, Jack. No. They literally said, we're tired of cat. Let's eat something else. I shouldn't eat. Jack cat. Is, was canonically asleep at that point. They did he say that though, Jack. Lot, is he? I literally told you guys that I like saying that word. Also, Jack, 
Like they literally said that earlier. Okay. This is where she cooks dirty pans, still stink of an old cat stew. <laughs> Bubs says, says, don't eat the cats or I'll feed you to the cats. They're right, that's blunt. true. True statement. Can hardly there. function as a weapon. Damn it. All right, take one anyway. Now bolts it down, it's yours. Slimy, I don't think she washes up very often. Blood smears all over it. Door's stuck, but that's probably better. Oh my god. Not sure, I want to know what's inside. I really... I hate this fucking sounds. <laughs> Table. Get under. Filthy remains of many meals litter the dining table. There's a strong stench of rotten food. Get under it. Get under it. Very well. Get under it. Get under it. Oh. Uh, what's all the squeakiness? <laughs> bye, Chris. What's, what's all the squeaking is happening? What the hell? I don't know. I'm afraid. Somebody's, somebody's upstairs. Oh, that's awful. All right. Let's look around. It says I don't need to hide. I can't read. Yeah, I don't have to read fucking everything. No, you canonically can't read. A small spinning of a silver straight. Okay. Take you it. You can't read, Jack. Oh, yeah. I got it. Take it. What did you get? You literally didn't even notice that they were talking about eating cats. I don't think you're allowed to say you get it. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to be here. Oh, great. The angle on this room, though. Well, I'm not. I can't move. Foxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. Okay. This reminds me of something. First thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Oh, so that's how you got taken. What do you mean? Just call the cops or something. It's like two in the morning you're like oh the cats are causing some kind of a stink out there let me I mean, go out there to be absolutely fair susan knows she can't die so well hmm yeah that's true though it's a communal mailbox it holds all the tenants mail in separately locked compartments no mail for susan ashworth Surprise, surprise. All other compartments are locked. Bob something a van. <laughs> Bob a man in a van. Shit. Bubs is redeemed Mao and says not the cats. Jack, I can't see. Help me. What what happened? Power went by. I think they're just trying to scare you. Okay. No, I'm not scared. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away. And not a soul would notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the right side, they say. And I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? It's none of your fucking business, brother. Kill? 
I'm on Jack on this one. Fuck that. Fuck that oh, shit. You scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse. Oh. Your neighbor called, remember? Yeah. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart. But I'm taking you for a ride. Yikes, dude, that's awful. Yeah. Bub just says, oh no, a car, and uh oh. So, I think this is actually a perfect place to leave it at. You can't be serious. I am serious. Because comes up next will get harder and harder. <laughs> and we're almost at the two hour mark. Unless you want to go another hour. I mean, another hour is a bit rough. Sorry, Bub says. Uh, she usually, we usually start streaming about two hours before now. So if you want to try and catch her streams a little earlier. Hell yes. Typically we go a little longer. Like we go but about I, like 30 minutes longer normally. Yeah, but it's just like, but yeah, it's not much like, more than that. Mostly because it gets a little complicated from here. And I don't want it to be in the middle because then I'm trying to make it so Jack doesn't forget something and then he gets screwed by, I can't remember, like literally a day ago. So I, it's rather that he remembers right now, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, right, Jack? You're such, uh, such a meanie. I'm literally trying to help you. I don't like that area. Let's leave. Where do you want, what are you going to do, actually? Well, it was probably a nice tea towel once a long time ago. Now it's just a dirty piece of rag. I'll take it, I guess. But I bet more so, like, do you wish to try and continue, or do you want to, um, do you want to leave it here? Well, I don't want to go for another hour. That's a big herb. What do you want to do, Jack? Oh my god! You good? You good there, Jack? There's some feet. <laughs> it's really washed. This water looks very odd. Like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and petrol. A lawnmower. What's it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. <laughs> Ooh. Water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me wretch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I, I did weird. not know I did not know it was gonna do that, I'm sorry. <laughs> gonna do it again? Take me. You want me to try again? Try again. Do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a little yeah, tiny scare. It's just a bath plug. It's just a thing. There's no way I'm putting my hand in that water. Okay, take the key. Yeah, it's underneath the dead man's head. Okay, so we just need to use the cat thing to kind of... Can we touch this to I've seen many dead bodies. It's gross. It's super gross and creepy. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab the cat grabber. I can't... Oh, there we go. Yeah, Jeez. we did that already. Gotty! Gotty! Black dragon, bad dragon, pest control. Okay. I am trying to save very frequently here. <laughs> Fuck. Well, well. I'm so glad I saved. He's so creepy. I know. Knife. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, sorry, sorry. Run away. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, you didn't. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a sign. We're going to leave this for next time. We're going to load back into our save because we actually cannot. 
We cannot get hit killed by this lady. Okay. So we're gonna okay. leave we're gonna leave it here. Well Jack, you gotta you gotta be epic, okay? Uh, I'm already epic. Okay. Doubt. What are you doubt what are you doubting? What what are we doubting? I don't know. What did you doubt, Jack? <laughs> oh my god. Jack was like, I'm already epic and I was like, doubt. Jack, do you doubt your epicness? No, Caleb doubts. Yes, but do you? I'm asking you directly. Well, Jack always agrees with him, do you remember? No! And I don't this time. <laughs> See, I'm a little fat, Christ. <laughs> Christ. 